Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we had a live session and in that many of the candidates, many of my subscribers, many of my you know family members were asking uh, what can we expect in the project related interview question. So if you are giving an interview based on manual testing, automation testing. So what kind of project related questions can we ask to you? So we have created a consolidated list of uh, project related interview questions and we have also tried to give the best answers from our information from our side with respect to if these kind of questions are asked to you. So let us look at that particular file. But before that, if you are watching this video for the first time, please do like, share and subscribe our channel. So the very first question that is very commonly asked related to your project is tell me something about your project. Now, when this question is coming in an interview, so you don't need to tell each and every, you know, use case or flow that is impacting your application that is there in your application, all the behaviors in your application. Like, for example, if it's a super admin user, then what would happen? If it's a non admin user, then what would happen? If it's a sales user, then what would happen? Just explain them in a nutshell. For example, you can explain like it's an e-commerce based domain project. It's an investment banking based domain project. So when you tell e-commerce, so automatically the flow will come in their mind. Okay, there will be related to some searching of the products, adding that product to the cart and shipping payment, all those things. So you have to tell in a nutshell. You don't need to explain your project in such a detailed manner. Like, for example, how many ADS, AWS instances you have used? What is the billing that is happening if it's a service-based company you don't need to tell all those things at all right then what is the back-end and front-end technology that is being used that you need you can tell also you can tell that whether you are doing uh, manual testing or automation testing right and if it is both then you can tell both like you are part of that particular team which is doing both first initial manual then automation you can also tell like in the initial sprints we are doing manual testing once the application is stable then in the upcoming sprint we will automate the feature the functionality which was uh, done manual which was tested manually in the previous sprint then you can also explain whether it is a cloud based application web based application windows based application or a mobile based application right so this is how you have to tell so you can create your answer on this basis and you can tell them in an interview Okay, now what are the different types of testing that you are performing? Now, when this question is asked to you, right? So this is actually a very important question that can be asked to you in an interview, especially when you are going for a manual testing interview. So over there, they know like he would be doing manual testing, but just don't tell that I'm doing manual testing or I'm doing functional testing. Apart from functional testing, you, you would be doing regression testing. You would be doing retesting at some point. You might be doing GUI testing. So even if you are not prepared for such kind of answer, so I would request you to be prepared whenever these kind of questions are asked because a tester's life is not only to do manual testing, manual testing, functional testing. There are There is a variety of tasks that has been assigned to you every day. And it depends on, you know, individual to individual, team to team, their goal to goal. It might happen that on Monday, you might get some of the issues on Tuesday, you will be performing regression testing. It might happen on Monday, you got an email from the client to do performance testing. You might be doing performance testing. It might also happen that you got an uh, email in the night from uh, your QA manager and he's expecting you to, uh, you know, do a GY testing of some particular screen, which is going to be released in, in next two days. So you would be doing GUI testing. So this is how you have to explain, like we do this, we do this kind of testing, we perform this kind of testing. This is a very detailed level of answer that you can give for this particular question. And in this, via this, you would be telling them that you are having knowledge of such a variety of uh, testing types that you are, it's not like only the theoretical knowledge, but you also know it practically, right? Then what about API testing? Are you doing it or not? If you are doing it, then please uh, do mention it which is the test if you are doing automation testing, if you are going for an automation based interview, then you have to tell what is the automation framework about or you can, if yeah, okay, what are the types of testing? So you can tell about what is the test automation tool that you have used, right? Is it open source? It is, is it pri priced or is it license based? So that you can tell. 
then they will ask you about defect management tool and test management tool it depends on individual to individual on company to company these tools vary based on the organization so someone can tell jira someone can tell azure ops and all those things do you follow agile or waterfall methodology now very important question if you are telling that uh, you are following waterfall it means your engineering practices in your company you know are not as per that market level are not as per the standards because in almost all the companies now agile has been there right we have user stories we have sprints and accordingly we all follow agile methodology right so think before you answer for this question what is being followed and if you have to manipulate your answer then try to do it because agile is in demand and definitely in, in these days i don't think um yeah, there will be some companies that would be having waterfall methodology, but still very less companies. Okay, then you might be asked, what is the testing process end to end, right? Now, when you get this question, so you have to tell them from the scratch, from the start, whenever you get any user story, whenever you get something to test. So it is not like you will be just opening that application. You will be just launching that application and just, uh, you know, trying to find out bugs, trying to break that application, just kill that application, kill that functionality. No, no, not at all. What does this question means? They have asked testing process. So you have to tell them which are the best practices, which are the standards that you are following or your team or in your organization that has been followed from the QA perspective. There are two aspects, key points when you give this kind of answer. One is if it has been followed in their company, in the interviewer's company. He will be happy. Okay, no, he's coming from a good environment where all these things are being followed, where guidelines are being followed. So he will be happy with your answer. Second thing is, even if it has been not followed in their company, so they will actually get a good new information from your answer, which will be a plus point for your interview, right? So this is a very good uh, answer. This is a very good question which you can answer and uh, you can actually, you know, increase your chances of being getting selected in an interview, right? So writing, designing test cases, test case review, you have to tell test case review you are doing and who is doing the test case review? It would be done by senior QA or by test leads, which are the parameters that are being followed in the test case review procedure. Then uh, how do you understand the requirement? You are doing grooming kind of sessions and uh, you are, uh, writing your test cases based on the acceptance criteria of the story so that nothing is being left to test. If the if you feel that this should be a test case in that particular story, but it is, sorry, if you feel that this should be tested, something XYZ test case should be, test scenario should be covered in the story, but it is not mentioned in the acceptance criteria of the user story, then you are going and communicating, collaborating with the business analyst, with the project managers and all those things you have to explain, right? Then comes about estimation. So how do you estimate your user story, whether it is, you know, large story, it is medium, it is low user story. What is your estimation? How much effort you have to put? So those all things you have to put uh, in the estimation. Which are the key defects that have been found by you for which you have been awarded? So when this question is being asked to you, even if, you know, it might would have happened that you would have found so many defects, but uh, the organization, or the company or the management might not have appreciated during that course of time. So what you can tell is, see, no one is going to come and ask three months before she had found this defect. Did, was she awarded? No, it's an interview. So just try to find a critical defect, create a critical defect in your mind related to your application and tell in an interview. Yeah. You will have to smartly handle this kind of question. Okay, then any critical enhancement suggested from your end to the project. So let's say this things come up or the testers do get this kind of room when there is a grooming session going on and they are thinking, okay, these records are being entered into the database. Now let's go to the further next entering of the user's records. So over there you can suggest what about the migration, uh, what about the compatibility, backward compatibility, forward compatibility, what about the compatibility of the data that has been already there into the application. Will it be compatible with the new things that you are merging? If you are changing the database, what about the data that is already existing? Right. So these all things you have to get. Even again, over here, even if you have not put any suggestions, so try to put these kind of suggestions in your meetings, right? 
and this will actually you know increase uh, your chances for getting selected how will you ensure regression issues are not found right or which are the best practices that you are following such that issues are not coming or let's say you signed off uh, let's say uh, you you had tested some particular screen on that screen you didn't found any issue but customer had reported one issue right so now they have found that found that issue again so it's a regression issue so why it was not caught by, caught by you so ninth and tenth are being connected over here right how will you ensure regression issues are not found how will you ensure bugs found in your story after you sign off so after you sign off still the bugs are being found in the production then how will you face what would be your test strategy what would be your test planning how will you plan your testing effort for this things so those all questions can be asked what is the release cycle so staging qa uat beta testing so it varies again from company to company project to project right okay so these are the short short questions project related questions project related i would say project related interview questions project related testing interview questions that you can expect in an interview to, to you right so thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for coming on our live streams as well right it gives a very good uh, feeling to me that uh, this is a non profitable channel but still it it gives a different kind of a feeling of being connected with so many people out there right so thank you so much for uh, watching this video uh, stay tuned for more updates